In Isaiah chapter 59, verse 6, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 6, the Bible says, Their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the art of violence is in their hands. In the book of Psalm 118, verse 12, Psalm 118, verse 12, the Bible says, They compass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, powers attacking my prayer life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers attacking my prayer life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers attacking my prayer life. Die by fire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are watching your dream mini with Evangelist Joshua. Today's topic is cobweb in my room cobweb in my room today's dream comes from blessing blessing right good evangelists i always observe these signs whenever i pray very hard i used to encounter cobwebs in my room but if i didn't pray at all i will not see these cobwebs again i am confused what could be the cause times for writing blessings dreams of cobwebs represent fear danger obstacles evil network trap difficulties to see cobweb in the house signifies evil presence in your house, evil presence in that environment. The cobweb is actually sent into your life to attack you, to bring set back into your life, to block your way, to arrest you, to cause shame, misfortune, poverty, debt, delay, or demotion. Dreams of cobweb may also show that the enemy is using it to put you in one spot in life, to disappoint you, to weaken your spiritual life, and to cut you off. At the edge of breakthrough it is hard for a person to prosper to succeed and to progress whenever you see cobweb in your home because if you walk into cobwebs either in the dream or in the reality then your envious enemy will make things difficult for you you'll be struggling to do things in life but it will always prove abortive god forbid prayer is an instrument of war a device to fight to defeat and overcome our enemies according to you if you discover the more you pray the more the cobweb attacks in your house then you should not be afraid because it shows that your prayer is actively working out for you your prayer is eating your enemy's head hardly but because you have many enemies and they will keep coming to deal with you this type of dream is also encouraging you as a child of god to keep praying against your enemy when the lord discovers the battle is beyond you or getting tougher day by day. The Bible says, God himself will arise and fight your battles and you shall hold your peace in Jesus' name. When you keep getting attacks, despite your prayers, then it shows that you have an enemy who is always waging war against you. The person wants to useless you in life. The person wants to frustrate you. The person wants to stop you, wants to slow you down in life. The person wants to place an embargo on your life. The devil will not attack those that is not a threat to them. Or a person who doesn't have a glorious future so for the enemy to be attacking you for you to be seeing this cobweb attack the more you are praying it shows that god is about to deliver you it shows that you are very close to your blessings so don't give up if you see the cobweb attack coming more and more when you pray harder know that something good is coming to you in a very short time the bible says in the book of ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 the bible says you have to wrestle with them. You have to wrestle with them. You have to deal with your enemies. You have to stop them. You have to deal with them. You have to use prayers to silence them. You will not stop praying until you see them die in Jesus' name. But if you didn't pray at all, they will not attack you because you are not disturbing them with your prayer arrow. But they will always feel calm whenever you don't pray. But the moment you pray, they keep attacking you harder and harder. That is to show that you have a monitoring spirit who is an enemy to your progress. If you stop praying, they will have succeeded in killing your prayer life. I pray, may your prayer life never be destroyed in Jesus' name. Once your prayer life is taken away, that will give the enemy the access to waste you more. Do not be confused. I want to let you know that you are very close to your victory when you don't give up that prayers. Also, you have to be very, very careful because a close person is the one attacking you. If you know the person, kindly keep away from that person and the Lord will protect you from evil. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
read Psalm 35 into a bottle of water or into a bowl of water and sprinkle that water around your house and also pray against household enemies. I pray the Lord will give you victory over these household enemies in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, powers using cobwebs to attack my destiny. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers using cobwebs to attack my destiny. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers using cobwebs to attack my destiny. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I chase out any evil spirit lurking around in my house. In the name of Jesus. I chase out any evil spirit lurking around in my house. In the name of Jesus. I chase out any evil spirit lurking around in my house. I chase them out. I chase them out. I chase them out. I chase them out. Any evil spirit lurking around in my house. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, every witchcraft agent using cobwebs to attack my prayer life. Die in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft agent using cobwebs to attack my prayer life. Die in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft agent using cobwebs to attack my prayer life. Die, 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 die. In Jesus' name, they are dead. Amen. Shout this prayer point in anger. Say, cobweb powers, stopping good news in my life. Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, cobweb powers, stopping good news in my life. Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, cobweb powers, stopping good news in my life. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take this last prayer point loud and clear. Say, O God, arise and let my prayer kill all my enemies. In the name of Jesus, O God, arise and let my prayers kill all my enemies. In the name of Jesus, O God, arise and let my prayers kill all my enemies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As I've taken that prayer point, congratulations. The Lord will give you victory over your enemies in Jesus' name. The Egyptian you see today, you shall see them no more attacking you in Jesus' name. If this broadcast has blessed you, share to your friends and family. Once again, it's Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.